y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Forenza aka the girl with big hair before we even get started make sure you click that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification button so that you can get notified when I post new videos so y'all I realized that it has been a while since I came and talked with you guys about just things you know like I feel like it's been a minute since I just came on here and talked without giving a tutorial or you know something like that so so what I want to talk to you guys today about it's the end of the year I want to sort of give you a wrap-up of all of the things that I found to be super useful this year um, some things that I um, knew about and just didn't try or some things that I um, I learned of this year and try for the first time this year so let's get started um, I have two foundations on this list the first foundation on this list is the Mac pro Longwear waterproof foundation this stuff is the bomb I am the shade my winter shade is NC 44 and my summer shade is NC 45 um, it's a really good um, everyday foundation it's kind of expensive I want to say it retails for like 36 I could be wrong about that I honestly don't remember how much I paid for it um, and I haven't used it that much that I have had to buy a new tube yet so Mac Pro Longwear's waterproof foundation they do have it in a non waterproof formula um, but I've only tried the waterproof one and it is the bomb.com it does dry matte it is a matte foundation and it is um, pretty full coverage it's not as full coverage as I'd like um, it definitely is not as full coverage as Studio Fix, but um, it is a pretty good coverage, especially for everyday wear. I mean, I'm not trying to go to work like super beat, not trying to do that at work. But this is a good one if I need some um, good coverage or, you know, I have a lot of scars on, and stuff on, this, on my cheeks because of acne over the years. So um, this is definitely a good one for that. The second foundation, y'all, this is one that I just discovered a, like last week. And if any of you follow me on Instagram, you know that I just did a live and um, I used this foundation for the first time on my live. And it is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Foundation. Y'all, this stuff right here is great. It's expensive AF. It is very expensive, y'all. <laughs> I think it's uh, 44 at Ulta, 46 including taxes. Listen, if you want a good foundation, one that has full coverage, um, is not super thick, not super cakey, it's actually what I have on right now, um, and you want your face to be snatched for the gods, Becca's Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream is it it does come with a pump um, a little bit goes a long way today I only use about a one and a half pumps um, because and that's mostly because I have a lot of um, spots in this area of my face um, so I blush a little patchy come on Forenza what you doing it comes um, this is a um, 1.01 fluid ounce um, so about the standard size foundation um, so yeah this is definitely my new holy grail for when I'm trying to get snatched I'm not going to use this every day for two reasons the first is because it costs too much and then the second is um, it is super full coverage and like I said I'm not trying to go to work you know with my face like whew. so yeah those are the two foundations the only two foundations that are on my list the third discovery that I made and this was one of the ones that I was aware of but I just hadn't tried yet was all of the ColourPop products where have I been like I'm familiar with ColourPop because it's all over Instagram um, I follow so many YouTube bloggers that use it um, and yeah so I, I was familiar with ColourPop I had just never actually made a purchase and was weird because I am the drugstore and low-end queen so you know the fact that I hadn't tried any ColourPop products yet um, was a bit shocking to me but when I did oh when I did 
I went ham. So just recently, um, for the holidays, I think they had a um, buy one get one free sale. So y'all, I went ham on their Super Shock Shadows and their Lippies. And y'all, I got five lipsticks and six Super Shock Shadows. And the, the beautiful thing about their Super Shock Shadows, y'all, is they are so buttery. And the Super Shock, excuse me, Super Shock Shadows, it's a tongue twister, and their Super Shock Highlighters are like butter, y'all. Like, I don't know what it's made out of, but it literally feels like velvet. And you see, like, it's so pigmented, so pigmented. Like, oh, this is in the color Chromascope, um, and it's just beautiful and buttery, and all of them are like that, whether it be the shimmer, which this one... Um, is a shimmer or if it's just a matte color like the color Brady um, it's still extremely buttery and velvety and just goes on so smooth like I am in love with these and I'm so mad that I waited to the last not last minute but I waited so long to actually try them the lippies are the same thing I have on the color daydream today um, and they come in a stick like this and um, you get about, oh, you get a pretty, wow, it's still going. You get a pretty decent amount of product. Like, I know the new Rihanna lipstick ain't this much product because I didn't hear people already complain about it. So for, I think these are normally $6. Um, I got them, like I said, buy one, get one free. Um, but I think right now they're on sale for like $4.60 or something like that. You get a lot of product for that little bit amount and they are incredibly pigmented there's high color payoff so when you put it on you don't need like a whole bunch of swipes um color pops lipsticks are the bomb so i'm glad that i hopped on the bandwagon with that one as well the other thing that i got from color pop this year were um two of my favorite palettes and you can tell because they're all they're both very dirty well this one isn't but this one is this is one of my favorites this is the color pop yes yes please palette and you guys know i did a um a first impressions of this video um and the colors in this palette are bomb. The uh, You Have Me at Hello palette um, is about half and half shimmer, six shimmer, six mattes. Also, most ColourPop palettes don't come with a mirror. So the fact that this one has a mirror is bomb. Oh, I did try the, um, the concealer, but I did get the wrong shade. It's too cool or too neutral for my um, skin tone. I have more of a warm um, undertone, so I need a warm. Uh, concealer so I am gonna go back but it is very 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 full coverage which I love and it's very um it's not too thick so yes the concealer is bomb too um I had I was not doing lashes at the beginning of this year which is kind of hard to believe because in my opinion a full face is not complete without lashes but I was after I decided that I wanted to do you know start getting perfecting lashes and getting to the point where I was able to put them on without um, without you know getting super frustrated and throwing my tweezers away I asked a friend of mine who is um, in also into makeup and she recommended the Ardell lashes so this is the faux make one these are a little bit more expensive um, I have actually only put these on a on clients I've never used them on myself which is why I bought them again today but Ardell's lashes are bomb Dot com. They are very natural looking. They have, um, I prefer the wispy ones, which these are um, technically not called wispies, but they are very wispy like. Um, but they have the Ardell wispies. They have the double, um, what do they call it? Double, double layered or something like that, where it's like two layers of lashes essentially. It uh, just gives you a, a more full look. Um, but yeah, these lashes are bomb and they are very inexpensive. Um, for those of you who don't like to spend 30 plus dollars on lashes, these are a good alternative. Um, they are quality, but they cost maybe like $6. I get these from Walgreens, but you can also get them from Ulta. Um, Ulta has a bigger selection of these, of the Ardell brand, I mean. Um, but they also have a bigger selection, I think, of the faux mink ones as well. So, the other thing that I um, discovered this year, which... I didn't even realize I had so many of these until I, I went to film this video. 
but it is the Wet n Wild. It's hard to hold these because they're actually very short. The Wet n Wild Cat Suit Liquid Lipsticks, but these joints, one of them actually wasn't a, <laughs> a Wet n Wild, but these colors are, first of all, the colors are incredible. I have four shades of this. I have Goth Topic, which is like a um, very deep burgundy color. And then I have Video Vixen, which actually looks almost identical in the tube, but I promise you it's completely different. Video Vixen has a more like purple, like wine finish to it. You can kind of see it on the, um, the wand. Um, and that one is like a, a deep, 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 deep purple, almost black looking. Um, and then I have a very true red, which is one of my favorite reds. And this one is called Missy and Fierce. I love, love, love this red. It's a gorgeous color. And then the fourth color that I have is called Oh My Dolly. I've actually, this is still unopened. I haven't used it yet. I'm really excited about this color though, cause like, yeah, bright pink anything. Pink is one of my favorite colors, so yeah. But I kinda wanna see what it looks like in the tube, um, just because I know some of these colors don't look, um, they're not true colors. Um, the color is not true as to what it actually is when you put it on your skin. So I wanna see what this pink looks like and I might even swatch it on my hand. Uh, it looks like it's pretty true. So let's see what it looks like on my skin. Oh yes, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm excited about wearing that somewhere. Maybe if I have make plans for New Year's, I can wear it there. What do 30 and overs do for New Year's? Do people throw parties? All my 30 and over people, if you got a party happening for New Year's, let me know. I'm trying to come through. The one thing that I absolutely love about these, um, I do not like liquid lipsticks. I'm, a lot of the formulas that I've tried, because it's such a thin formula, it literally is paint drying on your lips. So I tend to stay away from liquid lipsticks. I can do the liquid creams um, or the cream lipsticks, which is what this is. This isn't technically a liquid lipstick, um, but like that's why I love the matte. I'm trying to see if I can get a little bit of out, out so you guys can see the consistency, but you saw it on my hand. It's not like a liquid, it's more of a cream. Um, that you put on your lips and um, this is not drying. I always put balm on my lips before I put anything on it, um, whether it be a gloss or a um, matte lipstick, but this does not make you feel like your lips are dried out or that they are cracking or anything. So definitely worth the money. It is a drugstore. Wet n Wild is one of the oldest cosmetic companies around but also they are um cheap i think this costs less than five dollars at walgreens um and the walgreens near me has a pretty wide selection i have never looked for wet n wild in ulta so i don't know if they sell it in ulta i imagine that they would though but I, i've just never like purchased anything wet n wild from ulta so um i'm assuming that you can probably get it from there as well and then also you can buy from their website all right, so last but not least, y'all know what I'm going to say because I just, just did a video about it, but I am going to put it in this video because it deserves it. It deserves it, but it also deserved a video of its own, and it is the It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics collaboration. Listen, I love Ray. She, I've been following her on YouTube for quite some time. So then, when she announced that she was doing a collaboration with BH Cosmetics, I was like, uh, yeah, I'll buy it. And as soon as it launched, I bought this as well as the brush set, which are now my favorite brushes. I use them every single time I put my makeup on. Let's get into this palette. And if you've watched my, I'm not going to go too in-depth with, you know, describing this because I do have an entire video that I will put up in the eye. But y'all get into this it's a trifold palette that has um let's see 15 eyeshadow shades and six highlight and contour shades but these highlighters though these the highlighters are the star of this palette like the the eyeshadow shades are bomb they're very pigmented the shimmers are great all like all of this is great the mirror the fact that it's here the packaging awesome all of that is great but these highlighters though, y'all, and if you watch my video, you know 
that that is like the is what steals the show do y'all see this like come through and like I just can't get enough these highlight shades are just bomb AF <sighs> right now I think you can get the bundle this plus the nine piece br brush set for um, $34.99 I think is what I saw yesterday so if you don't have this I highly recommend purchasing it because it is worth every dime that you pay for it every single coin that you spend on this it is so worth it if not just for the highlighters themselves but the entire palette is bomb.com and I'm so glad that she launched this this year and I hope to see more and more collaborations um, or just her own line because I feel like she gets it she understands shout out to Ray for this bomb collaboration go girl I look forward to seeing what else you come out with so yeah y'all that's all I got for you those are the things that I think were the best um, the best of 2017 you know like I am grateful that I discovered them this year I'm grateful that um, I was able to learn so much about makeup this year shout out to all my favorite beauty bloggers Jackie Ina it's my Ray Ray um, who else Thomas Halbert Alyssa Ashley shout out to all of them for being just so awesome um, and continuing to post content and helping me figure out this whole makeup thing I am hoping that in the new year I'm really able to help someone get up and running with makeup if it's just that one person who has really been wanting to get better with eyeshadow or wanting to get better with their foundation routine or learning how to pick out the right um, foundation color or learning you know to wear lipstick whatever that may be I really hope that in the new year you know someone is truly inspired by my YouTube channel um, I don't have a thousand followers I just hit 100 shout out to all of my subscribers I'm planning to be a lot more engaging in the new year so make sure y'all comment and subscribe and share and tell me what y'all think about my video give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down if you think it deserves it but tell me why you think it deserves it <laughs> um, but yeah talk to me y'all. I want to I want to be more engaging I want to talk back to you guys um, and I want to give you content that you that you want to see so yeah I had a good year y'all 2017 was good to me and I'm so grateful and so excited about what is to come in the new year so if I don't see you guys before 2018 I hope you have a happy new year and I hope all of your goals and your dreams come true in the new year set those goals write the vision and make it plain and keep going y'all 2018 is right here right in front of our face and we are here to take it over thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time